Hello, it's Joe Glines. In this video, I'm going to cover installing Selenium Basic, uh, which is, my understanding is it's, um, it's a version of Selenium that was created with either .NET or VBA that you can, uh, it has COM integration, so for AutoHotKey users, right, we can connect to it. Uh, and it's, it's unbelievably confusing when you start diving into Selenium. Um, there's, let's go to the first link here. Where is that one? Um, I wanted to go to the overall, here, I think it's this one. Just to, to give an idea. So on Selenium, it's, it's, <laughs> you can go here, but, um, I wouldn't recommend it. It just gets very confusing. There's different versions. So the, the version I am downloading or recommending you download for version for Selenium basic is built off of or version two of Selenium is my understanding. All of this, by the way, I'm going to stop saying is my understanding because I, it, there's a lot here that's unknown to me. I've kind of worked my way through some stuff. Um, and I'm just trying to help other people save some time, uh, hopefully, but um, I, I don't have the quote-unquote answers, but um, I, I don't know the why, but I do know some of what does work. Um, so when you come here, this is very confusing. There's there's also, there's like, a, there's a Selenium web driver, and then they have these other R, I forget what they're called, R, um, I just saw it there somewhere. Um, these remote control drivers and, and it, it, overall servers, and it's it's incredibly confuse, confusing. Um None of these, this is where if you go to, if you look up Selenium, you'll find this page, and this is not what you want um, for AutoHotKey users. So let me come back to my little cheat sheet here. This GitHub version, uh, uh, or thread, however you want to call it, if we come in here, um, this is the Selenium Basic, right? A Selenium Browser Automation Framework based on the VBNet, VBA, and VBScript, right, which is, and it has the COM integration. Um, here, if you, I think this will get you to that, yeah, the GitHub page. This is the Selenium Basic version 2.09. Um, I saw a comment from this Florent BR. I've tried to figure out a way to reach out to him, but um, I, I'm working on that. But I did see a post on Stack Overflow saying he was the author of this, and then he was going to be updating this. He's working on an update to version 3, which if we go back, is it here? No. If we go back in here, the, um, there's a Selenium, the overall Selenium version 3 is the out newest, latest, greatest. It picks, fixes some bug fixes. Um, it's also very confusing, but um, they've, they've changed integration stuff. But um, I'm hoping that at some point... Uh, what's this page? Go back to here. That um, this gets updated to version three. Um, I decided to just go ahead and make this video because who knows when that will happen. Um, so what I recommend: you come in here, download Selenium Basic, um, this executable, and after you download it, you'll install it. Um, and that's what I've I've noted here. So you you go here, you download and install this. Um, We'll demonstrate how you can try to run something about a hotkey opening a browser, and if it doesn't quite work, uh, Maestrieth, I was he was helping me with this, and he, there's a VBSC um, file, this VBSC.exe, I, I can't remember if it comes with a Selenium version or if it's just look on your computer, but what he had me do was move that to where Selenium was installed and run it, and it actually triggered... Um, my understanding, it did something, I remember that, um, it just, I think it triggered downloading a couple other libraries I didn't have, uh, the .NET libraries, and after that, then, then things worked. The other thing, after you download this, this Selenium Basic, um, and you install it, you're going to want to have some drivers. Now, that's another point of confusion, so if we come back here, and I, th I think it's, nope, not that page, um, so here, um, the Florent, was it, Florent B, I forget his name, um, has listed a couple, there's, um, the Chrome driver, Opera driver, a Phantom JS web stack, so these, you can, um, you can get here, uh, the, and those are available here. When you go back to here, you will see other mentions of down, you scroll down here, here are other browsers, um, and some of these links are the same as what you saw over there, 
but you can you need to download the the driver um, in order for each browser that you want. So I don't think it comes from default with that install. You need to go grab the and and actually like I ran into it with Chrome, and that is why here I have this Chrome driver listed because um, it 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 stopped working with my version of Chrome and I had to get the latest Chrome driver and install it. And so after I did that, I was able to launch um, different. I was able to use Selenium to launch, um, automate launching of like Edge, of um, Firefox, of Chrome, and IE. Uh, I didn't download, I don't care about the other, I'm not trying to, um, you know, do all the testing, which is what Selenium is mostly for, is for, for testing your website and make sure it operates correctly the way you want it. Um, not necessarily web scraping type stuff. Uh, so that's the the... Review of installing, um, oh, and also, when you do install the Edge driver, um, you need to make sure you look at the, the correct Windows build, and if you go to this page, you'll see, it'll mention to you, and I think it mentions how to how to find the right um, Windows build. It's not that hard. You'd basically go to Control Panel and look at the, um, under your OS, but you need to make sure you grab the right Windows build um, and install it, the, the right version of this. And that's it for now. We're gonna um, the next one. We're gonna actually open up the the browser and show you some things that you can do. Thank you.